Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back to another video. Today I have a parcel from Oopsie Daisy. So this will contain a gifted item. It's a new item that she has just created. It's going to help massively with setting up spreads. So let's get inside and see what it is. Right, let's open it. I can do it carefully without breaking everything. I love it when companies do like this kind of washi or packaging tape, if you call it. Um, it just makes boxes look so much nicer. And I tend to take all this off and put it in my journal. Like on days where I get products sent to me or I've had a parcel, I will keep these, put it in. It all helps with like the journaling and scrapbooking kind of style. Okay, let's see what we've got inside. So first of all, we've got a nice little card. Hello you. Very sweet. And then, oh yeah, it's got a little note on the back. There we go. So it says, thank you so much for taking the time to play with the all new grid guide. We're excited to see what you create with it. We've included a couple of extra bits as a big thank you. Oh, that's really sweet. So yeah, they reached out to me and said, you know, we would like you to have a play around with this. Is that right? Of course, as a yes. Um, because I absolutely love Oops Daisy. It's a really great brand. If you're looking for something in the UK, this has to be your go-to. They're so good. Um, they get parcels out to you so quickly as well. So let's see what we've got to start with. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've seen this on their Instagram. Daisy, me rolling. But when you say quick, Daisy, me rolling. As in like, they see me rolling. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love that. Um, and I believe you can put these on things like water bottles and things like that. Um, they'll all stay. Let's look. <coughs> oh, could it be then? Let's look what we've got inside. And like, look at the um, tissue paper as well. So pretty. This is the kind of thing that I would keep and use as like a bullet journal theme or to decorate with. <laughs> Just because I'm a little bit sad like that. Okay, well, let's take the bits out and see what we've got. <laughs> right, this is the item that they um, asked me if I would try out. This is the journal grid guide. So we'll have a look at that in a moment. And oh, wow, we've got some 2024 tabs. Brilliant. I love these. Um, you can see from my bullet journal that I use, I knocked that one there. There we go. Um, I've been using them as I go. So all I do is literally put them in the corner. So this is an Oopsie Daisy um, bullet journal. This is their 2023, obviously 2023 one. And then I've just put like a glitter jelly case over the top. And I've got a little pencil case attached on the back. So yeah, I've just literally add them. There you go. You can see there as well. I just add them um, as I go. So that way I'm not restricting myself to I've only got this many pages. Um, and then I just keep them inside here. Oh, things are falling now. Shouldn't have touched things. I keep them all inside of here. This has got all of my Oopsie Daisy stencil stickers. It's all inside one place. So I can now add for 2024. Brilliant. And what else have I got here? Is this a stencil? Oh my gosh, it's a stencil. I think these are their new ones. Let's have a look. So this is the cheat sheet, I believe. Is this the cheat sheet or my line? I'm not sure. But I think this helps you because basically you've got your, let me put it like that so you can, can you see that better? A bit. So you've got your um, letters here, but then can you see the A hasn't got the middle part? If you look at the bottom, all the middle sections are down here. So that way you know, once you've drawn, there you, go, you can see that once you draw around the A, I would then go back over the top and put the middle part in. Um, I love these. These are so good because you can just get really neat like titles, writing, just using these. Um, and you know you can't go wrong with them. So thank you very much. I really like that one. Uh, let's go into here. Okay. The journal grid guide. So basically this is so you can um, set up a journal with ease really so you haven't got to you know those pages that people make i mean i make them every single year and never use them those ones that it's like this many for this kind of grid and this many down for this kind of grid what this does is it stops you from having a separate page 
it's all on one um grid so you literally can have this at the back of your journal okay i want to make a monthly calendar i need it to be seven boxes along and five boxes down then you can look on here okay you can see i've got here we go five down um if i want seven across the two pages i'm probably going to need four on one side three on the other so i'll use the four it's that easy it makes things so much simpler and it does say here when you get this you need to peel off the protective film and then there's going to be these little um dots what are they like punched holes you have to push those through as well so take that off and there you can see look at that lovely let's take it off like that and then you can see it there so then what i can do is i can then just pop these out if they're not coming out i can use a pair of tweezers i don't think i've got any with me right now no i don't but they're easy enough just to, like push and then they will come out easy enough um, and then what you can do is if i go to a clean space in my journal what you can do is then lay it down flat it all lines up with the grids you can work out exactly where you want it to go um these journals are brilliant because they've already got little crosses so they've got a cross in the middle and then a little dash there dash there so on the quarters as well um, and every single page has that so you can line your little dots up you can line it up perfectly yeah it's absolutely perfectly and then these oh i just noticed as well there's even um like a grid on it can you see that there yeah you can can you see there's like a grid on it as well that helps massively because then you can line the squares up so there that's it that's lined up perfectly as you can see there so you can see the middle dot is in there the top dots along there your side dot is there your bottom dots are down there and then all you need to do is if you're going to create a spread you just use the dots to just dot 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 as you go um I just don't have a pencil on me. No, I do. Here we go. So like I was saying, right, I want to create a, um, a calendar spread. Um, but I want to use these four, but I want them at the top. I'm just going to rearrange them. So I'm going to go here. So I can see this one, I need to have one either side to be able to make it work. Uh, yeah, one on one side and then two on the other. And then all I would do is go in. That's... That needs popping that one. Move that one away. Then I can go in and just dot like that. And that way I just sketch my line. I would go along and do it for all of them. That's how quick and easy this grid is going to be. This is going to save so much time when it comes to planning. And it saves you having to have, I mean, I used to have it here. And I would never refer back to it. I'd look at it and go, yeah, that's great. I'll use that. I never did. This is an actual grid. I can keep this with me. And I can use it straight away. And it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be hard. You can just make it simple. Just plop it in, draw out your grids, done. Nice and easy. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks again to Oops -a Daisy for sending that over. So we had that. Let's get all the bits out that I had here. Stencil, grid. Lovely. You can't really see it all because of the backing. But, yeah. Thanks again, Oops a Daisy. I really enjoyed this. I will create some more videos about how to use these stencils and how to use the grid. Um, maybe even do a setup to show you how I use it all. But yeah, thanks guys. See you all again soon.